beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. If you're new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday depending on where you are in the world. Now in today's video we're going to be going through three different aspects. The first one I'll be telling you about the phases of the moon, then I'll tell you about some astrological influences that can help you out and then I will be reading for all signs of the zodiac using my tarot deck. So let's get started started. By the way, this is going to be from August the 12th to the 18th. Now, the first phase of the moon that we're going through is the waxing gibbous moon. Now, during this time, this is going to be from Monday to Wednesday. And just check on the screen just over here. And this is your affirmation. I am so happy and grateful now that all will be revealed in divine time. I surrendered to the process and I set myself free. That's a big one because a lot of you are going to be going through some massive changes, especially when I talk more about the Uranus retrograde that happened last Sunday. So then we also have the full moon in 22 degrees and 24 minutes of Aquarius. Now, on the screen, you can see the times right over here. So if you are, um, so this is gonna be for 529 Pacific Standard Time. This is gonna be 829 Eastern Standard Time, 129 PM British Standard Time, 559 Indian Standard Time, 1029 PM Australian Eastern Standard Time, and 1229 New Zealand Standard Time on Friday. So there is a lot going on around this. As you know, full moon is a perfect time to release anything or anyone that no longer serves your highest good. But let me just give you the affirmation. I am so happy and grateful for this magical supercharged energy that's now illuminating the night sky. I release my wishes and worries and celebrate how far I have already come. That's kind of a big one. All right, now considering this new moon is actually in Aquarius, I had a look to see the ruling planet of Aquarius, which is Uranus. This is interesting because it totally fits in with the Uranus retrograde that we've got. That's also, you'll probably be feeling more of it. It goes until um, January 10th, I believe. But it's interesting that we've got the ruling planet of Aquarius is Uranus and then we've got the retrograde. So let's go into the astrological influences and I can tell you more about that. So on the screen right now, you can see we've actually got five planets in retrograde. I just wanna to focus today on the Uranus retrograde. So this happened on Sunday, that was August the 11th and it's gonna be here until January the 10th. So let me give you an overview. It says it's a time of positive major chain within your love life and your finances. This renewed internal perspective will help to raise your vibration so that you can become a vibrational match to what you desire. It's interesting because so many of you have been going through such a difficult time and you know exactly where you need to be, but your thoughts aren't in alignment with what you're trying to manifest. This energy is going to help you. Also, Uranus is a planet that is very unpredictable. So things could just come out of the woodworks and you're like, what? What's going on? Okay. So let's get on to the next part, the tarot. So I'm using the Shadowscapes Tarot, and this is a general reading for all 12 signs of the zodiac. So just take from this what feels best for you. If you're new to the fam, how I read this is I read a card for each day of the week, and then I'll give the focus. Actually, I'll give the focus card first. So let's see what we need to know. There it is. Oh, okay. The five of cups. This is interesting because this is, well, it totally fits in with releasing, but you've come to a point where what you've had no longer serves you. Have a look. You can see the little fish bowl. She's got multiple fish bowls actually, and she's releasing what no longer serves us. It's, she's like, okay, are you looking at this as the glass half full or half empty? Is this coming from a place of love or a place of fear as you navigate these new changes? Oh, okay. Five of Cups. So this is about emotions. All right, let's see what we need to know for Monday. Wow, that was quite dominant. Where is it? Oh, okay, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, this is lovely. Talking about trusting the phase of the moon. So the Knight of Pentacles, well, Pentacles is abundance. However, that looks like for you in your life, whatever you're seeking in terms of abundance, this is coming towards you. The Knight basically means movement and things are moving. So movement towards abundance. 
what does this look like for you in your life? This is trusting also, because we're looking at the, the waxing gibbous moon. We're trusting that this abundance is coming to you. That maybe this means that things are on hold for a little bit. I kind of don't feel like they are. I feel like just trusting that it will come. I don't think on hold is, I think mainly patience is probably the best one, but knowing that this is going to come, depending on where you are in your journey, because journey, this is a general reading, this could literally mean so many different things depending on where you are in terms of like the emotional guidance scale. But this is a sign of like hope and that things are coming to fruition. Maybe you have got that green light to go ahead. Maybe you haven't yet. It just depends where you're at. All right, let's see what we need to know for Tuesday. Tuesday, so it's from August the 12th to the 18th. Tuesday angels, please. There it is. Ooh, okay, so Tuesday we have the Seven of Swords. This is an interesting one because this is kind of like running away, not really owning up. It's kind of like either you have done something wrong or somebody else has done wrong by you. And this is a time where you're kind of like, and I heard the song, don't look back in anger, I heard you say. It really depends on how you look at this one. But to me, it's like, I don't know, have you been holding yourself back? Have you? Have you been sabotaging yourself? I feel like this is more self-sabotaging. How does that fit in with the trusting? It's like, you really need to sort your, your shit out. <laughs> in terms of, if we go back to like the five of cups, it's like releasing, okay, yeah, it happened. Okay, so what? So what? Uh, I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves and Donna and I don't need you tonight. So what from pink? We've had a lot of pink recently, actually. So it's like, yeah, if you did that, so what? You have the power to change it today. Today is a new day. So start kind of like feeling sorry for yourself. You're like, I've been caught in this and blah, 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 blah. It's like, get yourself out of it. This is time for you to make room for what's to come. Stop holding yourself back. Okay, Wednesday. So we need to know, Wednesday. Ooh, okay, we're getting a lot of swords this week. This is a lot about healing. Okay, we've got the Five of Swords. This is an interesting one because this one can be swayed by the darkness um, or the light. As, we keep, as I keep going back today, like choosing to make decisions from a place of love or fear. Um, okay. This one's quite self-explanatory, isn't it? He's like, he's got his armor on, he's protected, but he's got these beautiful angel wings, but sometimes he was just like caught up in doing the wrong thing. I, I just keep going back to making a decision from a place of love and not fear. So this is in the trusting phase of the moon. It's like, okay, if, thing, if you've been doing the wrong thing, so I, feel, I feel like you've been self-sabotaging yourself. You've kind of got yourself into a hole and then you're like, how the hell do I get myself out of this? It's like, okay, what would your higher self ask of you? If you're literally acting as if, you know, acting as if you already have your dream life, what would you be doing if everything you ever could have possibly ever wanted was right on, on your lap? Everything that you have been craving for is here. What the heck are you doing? I doubt you'd be sleeping in or staying up late or binge watching a load of crap that is lowering your vibration or you're hanging out with the wrong people or you're eating the wrong foods or not journaling or not meditating or not going for a walk or whatever it is. You need to start acting as if and trusting that it's going to come because you have to act as if it's already here to show the universe that you are ready and you're prepared for it and trusting that everything is going to work out. It's like believing that everything is working out before you see the results of your manifestation. Ooh, okay. And things are gonna change for you. You know, you've got the Knight of Pentacles of Monday. The abundance is moving, but you have to move yourself so that things can start to flow. So what does that look like for you? All right, let's have a look for Thursday. Thursday is actually the full moon, or depending on where you are in the world. So, Thursday, what do we need to know? Okay. Whoa, okay. There was a few. Um, the first card that I saw actually is the Ace 
of Cups. Now the Ace of the Cups is basically a beginning, a new beginning in terms of your emotions. I'm just going to put those ones to the side. So you're beginning something new. It's like, okay, it's like you want to be whole. No, that's a low vibration song. You can make me whole again. You can make yourself whole again, more like it. Let's see what the other card is. Oh, okay, so the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is interesting because this she's in the coffin position and she's just resting. It's like there's been a lot going on. So we've had the Four, Five, and the Seven of Swords. It's interesting with this one here. I just feel like you're beginning something new and all of the pain that you've been going on, things you're gonna be catching either a breather. You, you have to cultivate this yourself. You know, there's been a lot going on and you've been caught in these cycles of like self-sabotaging behaviors that have been toxic, which are ruining your vibration, not helping you get to exactly where you need to. But now you're kind of at a point where you're like, okay, I'm just gonna have a break. I'm gonna focus on me today. What do I need to do to help prepare my vibration for what I want? The Uranus retrograde is here to support you. What was that? A time of positive, um, positive, <laughs> positive major change within your love life and your finances. So it's like you're releasing all of that pain, everything that has been weighing you down, and you're going to be doing things differently. You know, it's like if you continue to do the same things that you've always been doing, you're going to get the same results. So how could things look completely different for you? In terms of because this is actually a time when we've got the new moon in Aquarius and its ruling planet is Uranus. So this is intuition, individualism, um, freedom. Yeah, there's a lot involved with this one. Let me just see what these other three cards are. Maybe they're going to help tell the story a little bit more. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Cups. Oh, okay, this is quite good. So we've got the Eight of Cups where it's like you've finally made a decision. Maybe that decision is you deciding you're not going to continue on this path of this self-sabotaging behavior because you're like, I'm sick and tired of this. I'm not going to be living like this in the next 20 to 30 years. So why am I continuing to do it for one more day longer? Then we've got the Ace of Swords, which is, you know, you've ended this cycle. You've just like, you, you found a way to stop it. I know that we had, um, what was it? The not sudden, the Jupiter retrograde, which was about your relationships and like you ended a cycle. And it's interesting now that you're, you're fighting completely different. Fighting is in like fighting. I don't, uh, even though I see the Ace of Swords, which is double edged, I feel like the boundaries that you have now set are changing all of this. And then we have the temperance. The temperance is the balance of the yin and the yang, which we've had basically since January. So how does this all fit in with this new moon? I just kind of feel like you've put a stop to all of the, you've, you're changing things, you're releasing things. I feel like it's more like you acting upon things. All right, let's see if we can find Friday and then we'll piece it all together for the rest of the week. Friday. There it is. Ah, Friday, we have the world card. We've had this like, is this like the second or the third week? But we've had this quite a lot in the last two months. The world card is card number 78 of the tarot deck. It's the most exciting card. This is like your life is about to change. I know that, you know, you may have found the change last week because we had the world card last week. You know, maybe you have discovered it this week. It depends on where you're at. Now that you know that your life is about to change and things are going to be looking completely different, now you're kind of probably freaking out going like, holy shit, like, what do I need to do? Like, oh, I can't believe this. Like 10 years ago, I knew that I had to move to England. Never left Australia, never even left Queensland where I used to live. And I knew that I had to get on a plane and I knew I had to, um, to teach in England. I just knew it. But then when I got there, I was like, oh my God, when you think about organizing the visa and where am I going to live? Who am I going to live with? Where can I get a, a, um, a SIM card when I arrive? Like all of those little things start to like build up, but just trust the process. Celebrate that you even got to the stage where you're like, oh my God, I am ready for this. Oh, I'm so glad this song came through. You know, Spirit, the latest song from Beyonce that's in the, the new um the lion king movie oh my god spirit um oh, i'm so glad that song came up i love that spirit can you hear it cool 
Let me read the lyrics to you and that will help. Um, Watch the heavens open. Spirit, can you hear it calling? Um, yeah, the waters are crashing, trying to keep your head up high. While you're trembling, that's when the magic happens and the stars gather by your side, um, saying, rise up to the light and the sky. Let the light lift your head up, burn the flame through the night. Your destiny is coming close. Stand up and fight. Go into that far off land and be one with the great I am. Yeah. It's like your destiny is coming. You have to stand up and fight and everything that you have ever possibly dreamed of is coming. This is a very good card. I have goosebumps. So it's like harness the spirit. The destiny is coming. It's going to scare the bejeebus out of you. But so what? That was very harsh and dominant energy. The first card that I saw, this is going to be for Saturday, is the Ace of Wands. You're beginning something new. Yes, your finance is probably going to pick up. It's interesting that I say finances when this is Wands. This is your creative talents and abilities. But I feel like your creative talents and abilities is going to, you know, if you are doing well in one area, it's going to Find its way to infiltrate other areas of your life as well. That's exciting. Standing up at fight. You're beginning a new chapter. Let's say what we need to know for Sunday. Oh, wow. Stand up and fight. Your destiny is calling. Oh, doesn't that just fill you with so much like relief? <laughs> oh. There was two cards, but the first one that I saw is the Two of Pentacles, the old balance card that we've had forever. You know, it's balancing this new. Yeah, your destiny is calling. What you want is coming to you, and you're trying to balance how you're going to navigate through this new area. And then we have the Five of Wands. There's going to be, you know, there's going to be hurdles. There's going to be roadblocks that are going to come up, but you're going to look at this and be like, oh, I'm going to act or react from a place of love and not fear because my destiny is calling and my why is so flipping big that I'm not going to just, I'm not going to put up with all of the shit that I've been putting up for years. Like I've gotten to a stage where I'm leveling up and I know that I'm going to survive. I know that I'm going to get through this. Let me just find that um, your destiny is coming close. Stand up and fight. Go into a far off land and be one and be one with the great I am. That's really beautiful. I just, that song is like, I've been, I was listening to it as I was like curling my hair this morning. I was like, yeah, because I saw the Lion King the other day on my date day, which was like the two year anniversary since I got engaged and my six month wedding anniversary. So it was kind of like, it was amazing date day. But anyways, this song is like your anthem. I want you to play it this week. I want you to do dance parties. I want you to tag me in it in Instagram, like literally post the Insta story and tag Melanie Kate Love. But yeah, stand up and fight. You know, your destiny is calling. You have to be prepared to leave things so you can make room for this new destiny it's calling because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so amazing. And I'm so happy and grateful that you've gotten to the stage where you have acknowledged that this destiny is here and you're ready for it. Oh my gosh, my loves. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I truly appreciate you all taking your time like out of your day. And if you join me, if you're literally joining me on the live chat right now and I'm talking back to you, thank you so much for jumping on early and letting me know how you've been going, what's been going on, all your updates and chatting back to me as we go through this video because I truly appreciate you more than you ever know. And if you didn't have an opportunity to catch the re um, if you have an opportunity to catch the replay and you missed the live, you know, whether the time zones didn't work out for you or whatever, let me know what came up for you. And for everyone else, what was the card this week that truly spoke to your soul? Was it the Knight of Pentacles? Oh, hold on, let's go back. Was it the Five of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Temperance, the World, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, or was it the Five of Wands? Let me know which card really like hit a nerve with you this week because I just feel like I just feel, I feel really happy for you. If you need extra help, I have a full moon ritual which, which you can check on the end card. I can show you how I release my pain or, well, that one is showing you how I release my pain, but it's basically the same if I'm releasing 
um, a new project out into the world or just, you know, releasing that, oh, I'm dedicating to, you know, um, not chewing my nails or I'm dedicating myself to, I don't know, just kind of just declaring it to the world, however this looks like for you in your life. I'm really excited for you, my loves. Thank you, thank you once again. And, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you, and if you need extra help in navigating this new uh, unknown territory and you are ready to break the cycle of abuse, please check out my free exclusive training because I'm literally going to teach you how exactly I broke the cycle of abuse, how my beautiful dream clients and how you can too. If that's something you want to know about, then I highly recommend you check it out because I have positions open next week for a free 45 minute consultation. Keep in mind that I choose the people in which I want to work with. There's a survey to fill out to see who's a vibrational match. And if you're really serious and then you'd like to progress into my coaching program, please book in. Oh my gosh. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Actually, have an amazing week wherever you are in the world. Subscribe if you're brand new to the fam. And I'll see you next week. Have an amazing time. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. I want to say a beautiful MK Love shout out to these two fabulous souls, Dylan and Mari. Thank you both for taking the time to leave these beautiful comments on my latest video. Holy flippin' heck. Dylan, in particular to you, when you said that you watch my videos three times a week, like one episode three times a week, I was like, holy flip, this dude is incredible. And that's a true testament to everything that you're going through. And Mari, you're just the sweetest soul in the whole wide world. So I just wanted to take the time to personally shout you out and so all of our beautiful MK Love fam can get to meet you and hopefully I get to chat to you in the live chat.